Well, well, well. Looks like we're back at the least explicable place on earth, aren't we? Back at it again with the green carpet, yo. <laughs> Just when we think we're out, we end up having to drive north again, and this is the most convenient place to stop for lunch. <laughs> oh, knock off Sperry Farm, how we've missed you. Yes. We don't eat here, we eat, you know, over at In N Out, but. Like, like regular citizens. <laughs> like patriotic Californians. Exactly. But we thought we'd, uh, we thought while we're here, we'd pay a visit to our old friend Bravo Farm. <laughs> Maybe uh, look at a couple details we glossed over that last time, like the fact that uh, this cow is on top of this thresher thing. You know. Father. Man, look into the eyes. This cow has seen some shit. <laughs> anyway, uh, you may recall up in the mill here, there were a whole bunch of animatronics that we didn't feed a dollar bill to, so uh, let's rectify that, shall we? <laughs> we can take a better look at this now. Yeah, now it's daytime. We can actually see the minerals we're panning for, and it looks like there's a... Uh, very few of them. Yeah. I think all the good minerals were stolen. Yeah. Boy, this Microsoft clip art prospector is really horny for that gold. This is the first evolution of Pokemon before they went to got catchable. <laughs> Try to collect them all. I just love this anvil dangling precariously. You do. It's it's a coyote trap right there. Yeah. Okay, at least finally one of these no shooting signs is somewhere that's not act actively a shooting gallery. Yeah. So it says 10 cents per show, but it only takes a dollar. So do we have to have a minimum of 10 shows? I guess so. All right. I know I have a dollar. He's been saving it for this moment. I saved my allowance to make sure we could see the chicken's cluck. It's a soft crumbly dollar, so we'll see if the thing accepts it. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Okay. Somebody woke up. Uh, push. Um, I'm gonna hit the chicken. Oh! So that's the same thing the chickens in the shooting galleries do when you shoot them. Mm -hmm. That's uh, a school bell. Or... Okay. Uh. I didn't even see that up there. That's a very hidden effect. Yeah. Train horn. That's not a horn, that's tracks. That's, yeah. Where is it? Just That's just a sound effect, that's not even a mechanical effect? Yeah, I guess so. Let's see. Oh. I think that's the same grunting the bear was doing. I think so. Oh, honey, right here, right here. You're gonna have to repeat that, buddy. All right, stamp milk. Oh, that's neat. Oh, that's cool. So in theory, that would act actually be actively milling. Okay. It's a thoroughly modern mill. So train horn is just general train sound effects. Yeah. There it is. So the, the... Oh, there's the crow. Oh my god! A little dusty. It sounded like he said, I'm not doing so good, I'm doing bad! But it sounded like it was just like a person just off stage yeah, saying that. Exactly. Got one more one more time with the crow. Oh, Susanna, indeed. It's weird that this guy, like, it's like they just put a puppet on a mechanical arm. Basically. Like. Can we do it again? Sure. Yeah. All I heard was, can you believe it? Because yeah. the speaker for the crow seems to be, like, way or over out. here somewhere. Or burned out. Like, that one, the light on that one's not, like, <laughs> blinking the way that these two are. The, the grand finale is a bunch of eggs falling. Also, this floor feels really creaky, so we, we should probably get out of here. Okay, so what did we learn from the uh, mechanical effects that we missed last time? Um, that crows have more personality than we were expecting. 
I guess. The chicken is clearly an off-the-shelf animatronic, because again, it's the same off-the-shelf animatronic that they have in the shooting gallery the chickens, yeah. uh, downstairs. The chicken. But the crow really looks like they just took a different animatronic skeleton and put just an ordinary hand puppet on it. So, so wait, wait, if crow's there, where's uh, Tom Servo? <sighs> Servo is lost to the ages. Oh. oh no, that's Servo, that lantern up there. <laughs> there um, but the no shooting sign and the chicken were, are the same models that you see in the actual shooting galleries, except in those you shoot the target to make them happen, not just push a button. So, hmm. what a haphazard collection of like again, yeah. train horn literally was just random train adjacent sound effects. Yeah. So the wild thing was though, since our last visit here. Uh, I saw someone post in the Podcast The Ride Facebook group a photo of a different tourist trap on the East Coast where they had the bear shooting gallery inside, like the exact same shooting gallery. So clearly Bravo Land is just buying those from a third party company where they're also probably buying the chicken and the no shooting sign and just yep. putting it together with their other with their other elements. Okay, so Creepy Mater is still here, but they got rid of the shooting bear, or at least moved it somewhere else. And instead we've got this dolphin. And uh, if this thing comes to life, I quit. The playground looks the same, but they've either added these misters or they've always been here and they just turned them on now because it was November last time. Yeah. It's both cooling and atmospheric for this weird old ghost town full of alcohol ads. Of course, Cindy Lauper was the uh, greatest Western folklore hero. Thanks for your work, custom fog designs. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> even the children's area is full of just cranky old curmudgeonly cynicism. So much wine shit. That's right, folks. KC and the Sunshine State. Yes, the Sunshine State is Florida, but it really shouldn't be. From this angle, like, they can't even pretend that these are real hotel rooms, can they? They just open straight to... <laughs> the balcony. Yeah. It's looking a bit dusty out there too. This saloon is haunted. Haunted by the ghosts of all the cowboys that were shot by that gun that the picture is of right there. And on this side there's no actual doors. But we do get a rusty old bicycle. I didn't realize we could get this close to the fresh salad sign. Ah, they moved the bear downstairs, so it's the first thing you see when you enter the so-called welcome center. I hardly call that welcoming. They spent a lot of money to rent this from whoever makes these bears, and they really don't want people to miss it tucked away in the back. You looked into my eye. The old path now leads to the gates of doom. Oh, there's a new one. Oh! So this shooting gallery is new since we were here last. Um, instead, there, uh, I think this is where the bar was. Yeah, th this, is, this is where the bar was, and now it's a brand new shooting gallery with a carnival theme. Shall I? And a barker bear who fat shames pigs, apparently. Let's do it. Okay, that's clearly another just stuffed animal they put on a thing. Well, at least this bear also makes fart jokes. So I think the carnival aesthetic is less interesting for shooting gallery because it's a shooting gallery themed shooting gallery, which is never as interesting. Like, in universe, these are supposed to be just targets you shoot at and not like wacky animations in real life. Yeah. But the Carnival Barker Bear at least is more talkative than the other. Like, like I could actually make out what he was saying more of the time than I can with every other animatronic here. But he just looks so, he just looks like he's stoned when he's not moving. Yeah. He's just like, uh... He's disinterested, that's for sure. 
But this one is like, I appreciate the vastness here. Yeah, and there's like, there's been more craft to this one, I think. Than yeah, even, the, and again, I don't know how much of that is just because they could go cheaper because they're going for a cheap carnival aesthetic, so yeah. they could save money on the actual decorations and uh, just expand it. Look at here, son. You better stop using foul points. This boy can't hit the broad side of the bar. Who are you talking to? Nobody's shooting. The no pay toilet law does not apply here. Yeah, well, I'm going to put a sign in my house that says the no stealing from the IRS law doesn't apply here. <laughs> Did he hit that target at no, all? I didn't. Huh. I didn't notice until just now, so. I want to go around. Okay. That was kind of a funny joke. Yeah. And prohibition jokes are very topical right oh, now. Of course. Again, it's charming for any local non-major corporate tourist trap to have this many animatronics, uh, even if the animatronics themselves are very repetitive. But it is. I, I am no closer to understanding this place than I was uh, before. And the fact that, again, this is all five years old at the oldest does not compute. So this is where we're getting married, right? I mean, I didn't want to tell you this way, but... <laughs> <laughs> Look at this carnival barker bear. All lazy, not engaging with the guests, not making eye contact, just looking like he'd rather be anywhere else. He's the disgrace of a cast member. He doesn't know the first thing about being show ready. Mm, you there. Come over here and win yourself a diamond ring for that pretty little lady. Oh, you heard me talking about you, huh? <laughs> 